I'm joined here by Ashish Takar, the uh, founder of Myra Group, a holding company that invests in various parts of Africa and is finding exciting opportunities in the continent. Ashish, tell me, 2014, what are the countries you're looking at uh, or that you think people should be looking at in Africa? So, <clears throat> as Mara, we've got presence in 19 uh, Sub-Saharan African mm. countries. I think Sub-Saharan Africa generally as a whole is very, very exciting. Um, Nigeria as a country, extremely exciting. The size, uh, the economy, you can see this, the, the sheer increase in GDP. Um, Ghana is very exciting in terms of governance, structure. The East African community, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, the five countries getting together, having a collective market, uh, almost the same population as Nigeria. It's a fantastic opportunity again, harmonizing a lot of free movement of trade, people, etc. Um, so that's extremely exciting. And then parts of Southern Africa are very good as well, in terms of Zambia, uh, you've got Mozambique, Malawi. Uh, but then there's also Francophone West Africa, which mm. is very exciting, where they've kind of created the single currency, mm. uh, one central bank for all eight countries. Um, all those kind of things make a huge difference. So I think as a whole, Sub-Saharan Africa is extremely, yeah, it's, it's a great mm. place to be right now. And has opportunities. Tell me, do you think the uh, Africa rising sort of narrative that keeps coming and going, coming and going, and seems to be kind of becoming permanent now, do you think that's shaken, punctured, deflated in any way because of conflict or pockets of turmoil in some parts of the continent? <coughs> yeah, I think the problem has been is that We've been generalized negatively too much. Mm -hmm. We're a continent, we're not a country, right? Um, Europe has issues here and there, but the entire continent's never generalized the way we are as Africa. Mm -hmm. And we're physically larger than North America, Western Europe, India and China put together. So in that respect, it's, it's, a, real, it's a real shame that we are generalized mm -hmm. in that negative context, whereas I would love to see us generalized in a positive context. And mm -hmm. even that wouldn't be right. I think it's practical to look at it country to country. Mm -hmm. As a whole, I think the, per the story is becoming more permanent. Our leaders are truly leaving behind a positive legacy. We've got a lot more governance coming into the system. I've been seeing it firsthand for the last 17 years. Um, so it is extremely exciting in that respect. But the point is that I think, you know, we're going through a real transformation where we don't have legacy systems in a lot of things. Technology is a great example where we've got 70% mobile phone penetration on the continent now. We've truly been able to leapfrog just because mm. we haven't had legacy systems. Um, so I think all of these kind of things make give us a huge edge uh, as a continent as well. And are you more convinced or are you more interested as someone who knows uh, some of these markets very well by uh, this kind of large scale investments in infrastructure development or extraction or manufacturing? Or are you, do you think there's something very compelling about a growing middle class and therefore consumption and consumption goods? I think it's a combination. As Mara, we don't touch the extractive industry. Um, we like to do things that have a true positive social impact on the country and the people. Mm -hmm. um, so therefore, we don't touch that. Infrastructure, there is a lot of attention on it, and it is a sector which is very important for the continent. We like things like IT services. Technology is going to be extremely exciting. Manufacturing possesses a huge opportunity, purely because we're lacking such basic raw materials, yet mm -hmm. we have the raw materials locally. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of kind of producing it, such as we're putting up a glass plant in Nigeria. That's a great example where we've got all the natural uh, resources available locally, uh, but no glass is produced locally. Right. Um, agriculture, you know, we've got the most naturally rain-fed arable land on the continent um, in the world, and, um, and you know, we, we are truly a breadbasket for the world. So. These are sectors which are, you know, which I think will be the next mm -hmm. big thing for us. And one last thing, is Dubai a good place to be doing business in Africa? I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, it's, it's very conveniently located. It uh, enables me to get any of my staff from the 19 countries into Dubai within 72 hours for any nationality to get visas into Dubai. Connecting Africa with Europe, Asia, the US, it's extremely centrally located. Uh, and great historical ties. So I think it's it's a it's a very convenient hub. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.